My name is uh, Sergeant Clark Mack. I'm a U.S. Army recruiter. I'm originally an 88 Mike. I've been stationed in uh, Fort Leonard Wood, Missouri, Fort Hood, Texas, uh, USAG Yongsan, South Korea, Fort Stewart, Georgia, and I've been deployed to Iraq and Afghanistan. Uh, I'm here to talk to you guys today about uh, the recruiting process and how you can enlist into the Army. My name is Staff Sergeant Harrington, originally from uh, Southern California. I joined the Army when I was 17. I'm about to hit 10 years this year. Um, I joined originally as a 68 Whiskey, currently out here um, doing recruiting. Uh, my first duty station was in Hawaii where I spent most of my time being a medic in line units. Um, I did three deployments, two to Iraq, one to Afghanistan, and now I'm out here talking to high school students, spreading the word about the benefits. How would someone join the United States Army? If somebody wanted to join the Army, the best way to do it is talk to your local uh, recruiter uh, for basic high school. I'm the, uh, the recruiter that covers this, uh, this school, uh, so the best thing to do is just to uh, approach me while I'm here for a classroom presentation or a table setup, or they can call me at any time at uh, 702-245-3649. How old would someone have to be to enlist in the United States Army? Uh, you have to be 17 and a junior with parental consent, or uh, just 18. And then you don't need the parental consent once you get to 18, So, but either one of those, but at least uh, 17. Are there different qualifications for each gender? Uh, there are no different qualifications for men or women. Uh, the Army is equal opportunity. Uh, we don't discriminate based on race, gender, religion, or anything. Uh, so the qualifications are equal across the board. How many job options would someone have in the United States Army? The first being we have over 150 different career options. Um, many in the medical fields, we're big on science and technology, um, and then our education benefits. The Army is very big on pushing college education. What is the GI Bill? The GI Bill is, um, it helps you pay for college. It'll cover your tuition, it'll cover your books. It's money for, uh, for college or uh, uh, community college, UNLV, uh, trade school, any kind of school, any kind of accredited educa education that a student wants to, they can go, they can get the GI Bill uh, by serving in the Army, Army Reserves or an active duty, and they'll pay for your schooling, they'll pay for your education. How will my service pay for college? Like Sergeant Clark was speaking about, was the uh, Montgomery GI Bill. Um, the way that works is, it's just as of right now, it's uh, just over $61,000 um, for active duty, and that goes to pay for your education. Um, so the way it works is you sign up for classes, and then the, the fund pays the school directly for you. Um, on top of that, service members, while they're serving, um, also get to take advantage of what's called tuition assistance, which is just over $4,000 every year after they complete their first year uh, to continue their education. What other programs does the United States Army have? Another program is called the Yellow Ribbon Program, which a lot of different universities across the nation actually participate in it. Um, that program is designed to help students who are you know, prior service to pay for their education by matching the dollar amount that they pay for their education. How can someone prepare for the United States Army? Every applicant that comes in, we have them take the ASVAB, which is the Armed Services Vocational Aptitude Battery Test. Um, and from there, we get your scores in several different areas, and that's how we uh, judge what job you get. What is the difference between Army Reserves and Active Duty? The differences between Active and Reserve is Active Duty is a full-time job. You're typically working Monday through Friday, 9 to 5. We do work out prior to 9 o'clock, um, so that's our typical day. Uh, reserves, you work one week in a month, two weeks in the summer, and it's primarily designed for our college students. So those who want to go to college full-time, um, it allows them to, to have that time. What is basic combat training? appropriately called basic combat training. It's uh, nine weeks and four days. Um, and it's difficult, uh, but it's not at all like you see on the TV. Um, they're gonna teach you basic soldiering, they're gonna teach you how to march, they're gonna teach you rank structure. Uh, they're gonna take you running, you're gonna do push-ups, uh, but they're also gonna teach you how to do combatives. Uh, they're gonna have you fire several different weapon systems, you know, the, uh, the M4, the 50 cal. You're gonna throw a live grenade. Uh, and it's just gonna teach you all the basics of being a soldier, and it's gonna toughen you up a little bit. Thank you.